Hello everyone, this is Cornell with Walker Realtors. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. I wanted to come to you today because I'm starting a new series and it's called The Real Deal on Real Estate. I want to share with you the good, the bad, the ugly of real estate and make sure that you, you understand some of the process and understand how things work out to put you in the best position to succeed in any real estate transaction you may have. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the home buying process. So the real deal on the home buying process is you need to talk with the lender first. I know a lot of y'all go online and y'all looking at, you know, Quicken Loans and all these other things. And nothing wrong with that. But you need to talk with the lender. Why? You need to know your buying power, what your closing costs will be, your down payment will be, what your interest rate will be, how much your monthly payment is going to be, if it's fixed, if it's, you know, arm. You need to know all these things so you're comfortable. You have the money saved. You're ready to go. That puts you in a powerful position and puts you in control. So you need to talk with the lender first. First, that's the real deal. The real deal. Don't sit there and be like assuming that you know how much you qualify for because you make X, Y, Z. Because a lot of times you get caught in your feelings. How you get caught in your feelings? In your mind, you think that you qualify for $500,000. You know, I can qualify for $500,000 loan and I'm straight. Then you get to the lender. They say, ah, oh, no, nah, some of them student loans and everything you got is $400,000. Now you mad because you like the house you looking for was looking at. You like those, but now the house is in four hundred thousand. You may not like, right? So let's talk with the lender first, so we know and set our priorities of which areas and what price houses we're looking for first. Second of all, you need a realtor. I mean, I I see it over and over again. A lot of people just out there shopping naked, naked and afraid, naked and ashamed. You about to make the biggest purchase of your life, and you out there just running around naked. You need a realtor. Close up. Make sure you've got someone representing you, doing the right thing. Someone who knows your best, what you what you want, your what you, you need. This is uh, the biggest purchase that you're gonna make of your life, and you just out here just oh, I'm just going window shopping, doing whatever. Then you find something, you go oh oh. Half the time, only you you doing is just going to open houses. You can't get the full inventory because. You're just going to open house. I don't want someone to deal with me. I got this. I know this. I, I did something. You know, no. Get someone who's a professional realtor that can work with you and understand exactly what you need. And, you know, because realtors know homes that may not even be on the market yet coming soon. So they can help, you know, put you in a position to find the home of your choice. Uh, so, again, there's nothing wrong with, you know, going to open houses. And if you bump into an agent that's working there. And a lot of times it happens. It's like, hey, look, I'm not work represented by anyone. Can you write the contract? Well, it's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But again, that agent is representing the seller, the person who's selling the home. He's gonna, He can represent both of you as dual agents. But again, you want someone that knows your in and outs and what you want, right? So just make sure you, you understand. Get you a realtor. Second of all, once you get a contract on a property, hey, please, 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 please. Don't go out there and make a big purchase. Don't go out there and try to buy a car. Don't try to buy these things because guess what? Your debt to income rate will change. And you get a pre-approval from the lender at first, but then it has to get past the underwriter. And once the underwriter gets it, guess what? He sees that you've been trying to do some things because he's rerunning your credit. And he's like, hey, look, you just purchased a car. Your debt to income may change. And guess what? You may not be qualified for that house. So you've been waiting 30, 40 days to get in that house and now you've done something. Don't do it. Don't do it. So again, the real deal is don't go make a high end purchase. Wait for your closing on that house, the settlement on that house before you do anything. Again, this is your man, Cornell, Walker Realtors, giving you the real deal. Hope you get it. Don't get caught in your feelings. Hey, if you want a home in Northern Virginia, you're looking in the Hampton areas, give me a call. We'll be happy to work with you buying or selling. Till next time, know the real deal. See you later.